simply I think because I did the on Thursday I went to the cider farm and then I sort of uploaded that video I don't want you to get really fed up with me <laughs> oh, so one of those flies there go away get in of my house um Chris has gone to Rice Slip in London he's gone to pick a dog up that we have loads and loads and loads I've made myself a nice cup of detox tea I absolutely love this one I can't remember, I'll have to have a look in the cupboard to tell you who it's made by, but this is a morning one and then there's an evening one. It's absolutely lovely. So I'm going to have a nice little cleanse. I've got a load of washing on. I've fed our dogs, um, tidied up a bit, wiped the worktops down. Oh, I'm doing a cottage pie for dinner tonight. I've already done, you might be able to see, I don't know, you might be able to see over there the saucepan it's all done well the meat's done anyway I've got to just do the the topic I've got the sink full of hot water and so flora I've already cleaned the window in the lounge and the windowsill because of little snuffle doggy noses and I think that's it but that's kind of quite a lot really already obviously said goodbye to Chris anyway I'll touch base with you a bit later on in the day Say hi everybody, say hi everyone, all oh, my sparkles, this is Fred, he's a lovely boy, look at Elsie cleaning you, it's okay, it's okay, Fred comes a lot on holiday, don't you darling, yeah, you little creature of habit, we have to move things around for him because he does have dementia now. And as you can see, he's blind in one eye, but he's a good boy. And I've got blankets all over the place for him to lay down on, because he sleeps downstairs, he can't do the stairs. He often has lots of little accidents now, but then won't we all and get really old? Um, but he's just adorable, aren't you? He is a good boy. Yeah. Good Come boy, on, Teddy. Then. Good boy, Ted and Elsie. They worry about him because they can sense, you know, that he's... You're a little bit poorly boy, aren't you, eh? Yeah, I know. He's a good boy. And um, his owner rehomed him from the Dogs Trust a little while back, or oh, some years back now. But you're a beautiful boy, aren't you? Yeah. But he still loves to eat, you know, show him food, he's straight there. Anyway, this is Fred, and I'm sure you'll see a lot more of him. I had absolutely no intention of doing this, but you know what it's like? You put your washing up away, you empty your dishwasher, put your knives and forks away, and you look in that knife and fork drawer. Why is it that the knife and fork drawer, you only ever put clean cutlery in, but it always ends up with bits in? I don't know why. Anyway, I'm gonna clean it out now, so I'll put you on a time lapse to show you how I've done. So this is the before. What I've done, I've just sprayed some of the, the method kitchen cleaner into that one, so I'm gonna sort that one out first and then put all my forks back in. And yeah, let's see what it's like after. Oh, yeah. Look, that's so much better. So I've got my spoons and my forks, which I have managed to sort of like lay on this side. I don't know why, I just fancied doing it at the at the time, but obviously they're not gonna be put back like that. I know that. Um, knives in here, so I've got a mixture of steak knives and ordinary knives. Here I've got all sizes of spoons. And in here, I've got sort of like the things that I reach for a lot, like the tin opener, vegetable knives, a honey spoon, children's spoons, that sort of thing. Um, my little spoons for cooking. So that's that one. Now, let's tackle this one, shall we?
last time this is the second drawer. So this is other things that I might use, but not on a daily basis. And these are the little seals here for bags. I've got like my mallet, um, the knife set here that like sharpens it. Actually, it's a really good clean because it's silver. Um, this is my pineapple cora. So yeah, sorted out that now actually quite proud of because it's kept tidy so I've got some tea towels at the front and then at the back I've got tea cozies like I made this one my eldest one Nathan made this when he was a little kid at school and I've kept it so that's like 30 odd years old now um yeah I'm really proud that this has been kept tidy now now this one let's tackle this one shall we done now so this is all organized i've got all the crisps are in here then i've got table mats here in this little container here i've got um coasters paper straws cutlery for picnics um just bits and bobs here like um a jam funnel that sort of thing so that's and um the takeaway menus of course so that is that drawer done. Considering I had absolutely no intention of doing this, <laughs> I've cleaned the whole unit. So there's all the cutlery, no crumbs, nothing. Um, other utensils that I use. And then here I've got like tablecloths, tea towels, and in here other sort of kitchen things that I use. But it's organized chaos. Right, I just need to wipe down the worktop now. I've got a nice clean island and the draw unit underneath it. So yeah, I feel quite proud because I'm not even going to do any of this today because it's too hot. But we have achieved it. Woodsy, say hello. Hello. So this is Woodsy on his holly bobs. Woodsy's been coming to us for a long time, haven't you, babes? Let me tell you a little bit about Woodsy. He's almost 13. In fact, he's 13 next month. He's a Jack Russell cross patterdale. Good boy. And Woodsy's got celiac, so you know he's on special diet and everything. He's very, very good though because he's not even tempted to eat anything that another dog has or any of the dog treats. I have to give him like ham or you know something like meat. But um, yeah, if you were to offer him anything, he wouldn't take it because he knows that he can't eat it. Woodsy. Guys, it's only about half eight. It's still, we can see it's still really light out. But I am so tired. Absolutely shattered today. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is. But I'm really tired. Mind you, I never really sleep very well. Um, So I thought I'm going to go to bed early. Um, So I'm just going to take my makeup off. So I thought I'd just have a little chit chat to you while I... While I'm taking my makeup off. Don't think I've got an awful lot going on this week, so I don't know. Hopefully this is not going to be too much of a boring weekly vlog. Um don't always do a weekly as you know, but I thought this week I might. Um just sort of see how well it goes. But as I say, unfortunately, I don't have anything really interesting. Um apart from obviously dog wise it's really busy sort of you know busiest time of my year really now although having said that it never used to be really really busy sort of september october november and so on through probably till about sort of easter time but i have to say the last maybe four years it's got really busy Oh, excuse me, around that time. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know whether it's because a lot of people choose to go on holiday when the children aren't on holiday, if you know what I mean. When it's when the schools have all gone back, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's become really... It's, I've noticed a big difference over the last few years. So I'm using... This is the Garnier micellar water and this is for dry and sensitive skin and this is the one that's infused with what's it infused with oh it's micellar oil infused cleansing water there you go you see the oil on the top obviously give it a little shake when you go to use it but it still goes to the top <laughs> i've used this sort of once before and i must admit when i first used it i wasn't really keen on it but i think it was because it was like a new product to me not the micellar water but the fact that it had the oil in it whereas now you can get all different types of micellar water can't you, you know the milky ones and aloe vera ones and all sorts of different ones now so I so thought I'm just gonna come in do a quick really a quick sort of cleanse routine tonight because I am just so shattered Oh, I had, um, we had a bit of a little Chinese for dinner tonight and they always, as a takeaway, and they send fortune cookies over. There you go, that's my little quote. It says, past experience, he who never makes mistakes, never did anything that's worthy. And it's got my lucky numbers there, so I might put those on the lottery. Um, but that is just absolutely true, isn't it? You have to make mistakes to learn. And for people that say, I've never made a mistake, or da 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 da, who are they trying to kid, eh? So I'm going in with another cleanse because I don't know, I just don't feel like it's really clean. But... Oh, have you been watching on the telly this week? Um, Oh, what's it called? I think it's called Dark Money. I'm sure it's called Dark Money. And actually, the last one's tonight. Um, but I'll catch up with it tomorrow. Because I'm just... I'd end up falling asleep and not enjoying it. But it's really good. I won't tell you anything about it in case I sort of ruin it. Especially if you only just sort of started watching it. But if you haven't, it's on BBC. BBC One. And at nine o'clock. It's really good. Honestly, really it's amazing but yeah it's a really really good program so it's a four-parter um so i'd recommend you watch that i'm just trying to get this mascara off now and then i forget it's not brilliant it's a brilliant waterproof mascara it's a bugger to get off you know this one So I've got Fred and Woodsy here, as you've already seen. Um, they are both here for three weeks. So yeah, got them, got them for three weeks, the little lamb chops. So that's nice to have them back for that length of time. Right, now I'm just going to give my self a little spritz of liquid gold um that's just still in here because i decanted into here and went on holiday um so this is by alpha h so spray that on and then i go on top with an elemis toner again in this spray bottle because i took it away or decanted some anyway so that's my elemis toner just to bring everything back to the pH, let that dry off a little bit. I might watch a little bit of YouTube, not sure, or I might read a book. Either way, I'll fall asleep doing either one or the other. Um, this is from The Ordinary, and this is the lactic acid, and this is the 10% one that I'm using. Um, you can see I'm about, I'm not quite halfway down. So this just does like a natural exfoliation. It's really good. So I just, I probably use far too much. I'm always really generous with my products. So 
and sometimes I get like in little areas I might get like a little bit of a tingle a little bit of a it's not a sting it's more like you can just feel it tingling and I just had it around about there um, but it's gone as soon as it's on it's off if you know what I mean as soon as you get that little bit of a tingle it's gone straight away sometimes I just put this on and an eye cream and that is it you know I don't follow it up with anything else but at the moment because I think my skin at the moment just needs something extra because it's so hot out um so tonight i'm just going to pop this on the top um and this is from aldi it's the, the liqueur range and it's the healthy glow rose oil which of course is a dupe wow you've only got to look at the packaging and you can really tell can't you you know it's a bit of a dupe for pixie I love Pixie though, I love that range. So nice generous amount of that goes on as well, as per. And literally once I've done all this, all I've got to do is go clean my teeth. And I'm just gonna hit the sack. Thing is, I don't sleep very well, that's my problem. I've always suffered well, probably since I've had children, to be honest with you, so it's like over 30 odd years. I've like been such a light sleeper as most mums are because you like sleep with one ear open all the time, don't you, when you've got children. And I've just like, you know, then when the menopause hit and everything, just terrible for sleeping. Oh, and I'll tell you what's happened for about the last three nights. Elsie, if you're new to my channel, you don't know who Elsie is, she's one of my little dogs. Um, she's still a pup. She, for the last three nights now, she's been bark, 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 bark. Flipping heck, honestly, driving me mad in the middle of the night. And I'll tell you why. We've been, well, we do get quite a lot of foxes around here, but there's these two sort of young juvenile fo foxes. And they come and decide to sit their backsides on our drive which is lovely, but she goes ballistic. Obviously, she can smell it before she hears them. And then they play, and they play like like my two puppies, Teddy and Elsie. They're rough and tumbling, rolling over, having a great time. But obviously, she wants to defend her territory. And um, she's barking and going crazy. Oh, gosh. And then I have to go downstairs, get her up again. And then she doesn't settle. And then if I shut her in the bedroom, she still starts again. Honestly, I just wish they'd go down the road a little bit. As lovely as it is, though. So I do watch them, you know, out the window. They're really cute. But you wouldn't think that they'd stay there with, like, especially Elsie. She runs on the back of the sofa, looks out the window and is barking. Um, anyway, I've just put on my eye cream and this is the, uh, what's this called, this one? It's Olay. It's the Seven Effects one, the transforming eye cream. I tell you what, I love it. I really, really like it. I'm not really a huge fan of Olay, but this... It's probably one of the best eye creams I think I've used. That, to be honest, is my skin routine for tonight. All I need to do is literally go clean my teeth and I'm done. Then just get ready for bed. Put my earrings over here. Oh, take my hair out, give it a brush.
just literally just sort of like tied it up like a little bun at the back I can't bear that round my neck at night when it's just flipping warm I'm gonna go and clean my teeth and I will bid you a good night and hope you will sleep well see you tomorrow Hi, Hi everyone, friend. it's Wednesday and I know I look absolutely terrible. I know I do. I've been crying a lot today. You know my dogs and you know Teddy, my little oh, Pomeranian Chihuahua. He, lately he's taken to sort of sleeping upstairs, downstairs. I mean, we just leave the gate open, the doors are open and they're allowed to go where they want to. And he tends to come upstairs when we go to bed and then he goes back downstairs he just prefers to curl up on the sofa or, or on the floor or whatever um so that's what he's been doing for a little while and then in the morning he comes upstairs and greets us and more or less says wake up come on it's time to get up now but he didn't do that this morning anyway chris came down and he shouted up says oh ted no ted's um laying in the hallway but then i came downstairs and i could see chris was cleaning up I asked what you're doing and he said well there's poo at the side of the sofa and behind the sofa so obviously that was Teddy which he does he never does that um and it wasn't diarrhea I know this is a bit graphic but it is important um it wasn't diarrhea but it was soft so anyway he cleaned it up and I went to see how Teddy was and stroked him and he didn't like get up or anything and then I noticed he had a lot of like poo stuck around his bottom so I picked him up and he stayed in the same position that we, he was on on the floor which was like sort of more to his right side so I picked him up and he stayed in that position so I took him upstairs and gave him a warm bath just to wash his his rear end I wrapped him in a towel, um, dried him off a bit, well, as much as I could, and then he was sort of shaking. So I wrapped him up in a blanket and just nursed him like you would a baby, just literally cuddled him and sort of cradled him. And he just didn't seem right. He looked like the lights were on and no one's home, you know, that sort of look. Um... So I just tried to sort of calm him a little bit and see what was going to happen. And then, he, you know, he stopped shaking and he calmed. And so I thought, I'm going to see what you're like on the floor. And I popped him on the floor and he just went back down onto the side again. So I picked him up, phoned the vet. And we had to take him straight to the vet. And honestly, it was like a scene out of Casualty, if you've watched that programme on the telly. Um, they were there, they were waiting. The vets were waiting, they were gloves on, they were there waiting. It was amazing, you know, as to how ready they were to sort of start looking at him. Um, so they did all sorts of things. He had diarrhea a couple of times there oh he'd also wet himself at home while i was nursing him um he wet himself again in the vets a couple of times he they examined him as much as they could but he was very very tense they did lots of examinations on him like the spine and everything because i honestly thought it was his legs i thought maybe he'd fallen off the sofa or something and hurt his leg and that's why he couldn't stand, but it wasn't. It was nothing to do with his legs at all. Anyway, to cut a very long story short, they feel it's neurological. Um, so they were like, well, we don't know, maybe he's had a seizure, but of course nobody saw, witnessed that happening, so they can't say it was a seizure. Or maybe they, the other thing they were thinking of was meningitis, um, but not the bacterial type, It, it the... Um, inflammatory meningitis and I'm like well how can he get that uh, they were just trying to explain that um, if there's a problem with the kidneys or the liver that type of thing then the toxins can affect the brain um, so it, it we were there for ages discussing all sorts of things and they felt that it was out of their area of expertise so they said we'd like you to go to a specialist vet 
in Ringwood, which is about an hour away from where we live. So they discussed it. They rang the, this specialist vet, talked to them about it. Um, Chris talked to them about it. They passed the phone on to Chris. Um, and anyway, so we went straight over there. So um, very similar tests again to what happened in the vets. And, and the vet there said, you know, Right now, I can't say that I know what it is. Um, y yes, it could be a seizure. Yes, it could be meningitis. Yes, it could be this. Yes, it could be that. Um, unlikely to be a tumour because he's a puppy. He's only 19 months old. Um, they don't usually see tumours in puppies. And um, un unlikely to be a stroke because of his age. Because other than that, he's fit and healthy and eats and well, you know what he's like. You've seen him on my channel. He's always racing around with with Elsie and you know a happy, happy little puppy. Um, so this has just sort of blown us out of the water a little bit. Um, anyway, so Teddy is still at the specialist vets. He's there for the night at the moment. Um, they are going to monitor him because, of course, if it is a seizure, he's in the right place. They would see it because they have the nurses in the hospital all the time. They would know what to do. Um, he's on a drip because, obviously, he became dehydrated with all the, the weeing, the diarrhoea and not drinking. So he's on a drip. He's got a line in. Um, they've taken blood, so they're going to test all the electrolytes, liver, kidneys, that sort of thing. Um, and then in the morning, more than likely in the morning, they'll have to do an MRI because that's the only thing that will really look at his brain. Um, and more than likely have to do a spinal tap as well. So they're going to have to give him a general anaesthetic for that to do the whole thing to do the MRI and the like the lumbar puncture that's all got to be done by general anaesthetic um you could imagine what I was like you know how much I love him so you know I was like a bawling they were lovely. They were giving us coffee and everything. They were so lovely and they made us feel like at ease. And I know it's the right place for him to be because all the way there, I was terrified in case something happened to him in the car. Um, so anyway, we phoned at four o'clock. We had to phone today to see like for an update and he's very sleepy but he hasn't had any more diarrhea so that's good news um so nothing nothing worse nothing sort of changed well i suppose if you like you can say a little improvement because he hasn't had diarrhea um and then we have to phone again if they haven't phoned us then we have to phone them again at half past nine in the morning um and then so that was that so i feel quite happy i know he i know he's in the right hands and i know he's safe but it's i know some people might think i'm stupid but when it's your children go in hospital you can stay with them and i just like miss him so much um anyway then my own vet phoned for an update he, you know how steady you know what's 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 happening Whew. um anyway so that's that i thought i'd all i'd update you because i know how much you all ask and about the dogs and you all like to see them and everything so i thought i'd update you and um i'll come back on tomorrow when i know a little bit more fingers crossed positive vibes Lots of prayers, because I miss him, miss my little baby. Talk to you tomorrow, guys.
Good morning, my love. So an update on Teddy. Today is Friday, so um, I didn't report anything yesterday. Um, spoke to the vets quite a few times. Situation now is he hasn't had an MRI scan or like a spinal tap. They haven't done that yet. He's had his bloods done. Uh, the first lot of bloods came back that there was nothing to panic about, but a few things weren't sort of as they expected so they've had to do more bloods he has had something to eat um but he has still got diarrhea he's still got a, on a drip he's still got a line in um in case they have to do anything um but they've given him probiotics on his food because that should you know obviously help improve um the gut so hopefully that will start to firm up and stop anyway so he is a little bit more alert the vet said um when they go in to try to assess him he he that's when his defense mechanism kicks in which in a way is a good good sign because you know when i first took him to the vets they were able to do all sorts of things initially and he didn't care she does feel that probably the best people to be able to assess him is us but in our home environment so to bring him home and to see what he's like but i did say all the time he's got diarrhea i don't want to do that not because i don't want to clean up after him it's nothing to do with that i said if he's still got diarrhea then i can't hydrate him because if he's not going to drink or if he eats or drinks and then he's pooing i can't hydrate him and so so it all begins again so anyway i'm waiting for a phone call see sort of where we go from here um but I'll keep you updated the other thing is so I've coloured my hair and it's like a strawberry blonde. I don't know if you can tell, but I had an absolute disaster with it. I tried to go lighter and oh my God, I looked like a cross between Donald Trump and Boris Johnson. Honestly, it, oh my God, it was awful. So I was in a panic. Um, so I had this one in the cupboard. Um, so I thought I'm just going to go over it because there's no way I could have gone out. It looks a bit lighter because I'm right under the... Um, the light in the room but if i go like that hold on if i go like that you can see it's a bit darker i quite like it actually but i can't do anything else with it other than keep it conditioned because i've put two colors on now in literally two days so anyway i'll keep you yeah, updated hi my loves it's still friday it's um five to eleven at night um i'm just gonna update you on teddy that we've actually got him home for the weekend fingers crossed um the second lot of bloods came back just a few little queries but nothing sort of major that they're too overly concerned about um it does look as though he's having seizures that seems to be the problem that it was a seizure the lighting's really bad i really apologize we're taking it in turns to do the night shift so yeah i said i'll do tonight so i'm gonna just stay downstairs with ted and so i'm gonna like doze sleep on the sofa and what i've done is pulled the chair the armchair across that makes a little bit of like a bit of a crib i suppose i've got my dressing gown on the chair for him to snuggle into because if anything happens during the night then they want us to film it if he does have another one could we video it and then they will be able to see the type it, it's likely to be i yeah, just thought i'd update you i'll just turn the camera around and like show you what it looks like at the moment Ted, you're getting comfy, are you? Good boy. He's got a really, really sore bottom and um, I've got a pseudocram to put on it. <laughs> like a little baby. Look at him trying to like get comfy in my dressing room. Night night, Teddy. Night night, Ted, Ted. Good night, baby. Hey. And went to Simwell this morning, just individually went down, got weight, came back, obviously because of leaving the dogs and obviously Teddy, but we just like so needed to get on the scales as we haven't been for a while. I put on half a pound, so I don't mind that really because it's been how many weeks? Possibly three weeks. Yeah, maybe three weeks. 
I've got a half pound, so that's that's okay, I think. You put a pound on, didn't you? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's all right. I'm not, you know, I'm not disheartened with that. Is it, is no, it? not at all, considering, like, we've been, some of the time we've just had to sort of grab things, haven't we? Yeah. And, um, oh, my God, we had lovely cake yesterday. Yes, we did, yes. We did have oh, a yes, I forgot about that. We did have a lovely cake that's yesterday. That's my pound. <laughs> I'll insert a picture about here of what the cakes that we had. Um, I had the custard slice and Chris had the, um, the shoe bun. Yeah, caramel coated shoe bun. Yeah. Uh, but we deserved a treat, I think, because of all the, like, stress at the minute. Little update on Ted, he's asleep now. And they had a funny little night because he didn't, it just kept, he got down on the floor and went into his little corner that he prefers to sleep in. So we went there. Um, oh! 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 Silly sausage. Somebody fell asleep. Oh, Elsie was balanced up here. I don't know if I don't know if it showed it. Yeah. Did it? I don't know if it showed it on no. the camera. No. But she was balanced on here and she dozed off and then she slipped. Bless her heart. That's better. Go in the bed. You're safer there, babes. Oh, bless her. Um, yeah. So he, I must have just dozed off at one point. Um, then when I. Went into the dining room this morning. There was a little tiny bit of diarrhea. Not a lot, though. It wasn't like... I know it's graphic, but it was firmer than it has been. Um, sorted all that out. I do apologise if this weekly vlog is going to be a little bit boring because I haven't done anything amazing at all. But I guess you understand why because of what's been going oh, on. I don't know. You dyed your hair yeah. twice. Uh, nightmare, that was. Nightmare. But I've got a couple more videos to sort of like to do, um, sort of coming up in the future. So I've got, still got to do my pamper, um, following the collaboration that I did with Katie. Uh, the Poundland Hall pamper kit thing. So I've got to do that. I might even do that tonight, actually, because it's my turn to sleep upstairs tonight. Chris is going to be on Teddy Watch tonight down here. Um... Because I've explained that if he if it is a seizure and he has one, hopefully yeah. we'll be able to film it so yeah. that they can see which depends on how he is during the seizure. They can sort of diagnose which type of seizure it is. Um, so Chris is going to stay down here anyway with him tonight and I'm going to sleep upstairs tonight. Um, so I might even have my pamper at some point today or this evening. So I'll film that if I do. And then I've got just like a couple of other little videos to do, little haul, shoppy haul things. I'll probably just come back on again tomorrow now, just to keep you updated. So see you soon. Bye, Bye. For now. Bye for now. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday now. <sighs> yeah. Fell asleep in it again. But I know you forgive me for that with what's going on and everything. Um, okay, so a little update on Teddy. He is improving every day. Um, we do have to liaise with the vet, the specialist vet, um, at some point today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, every day he is really, really improving. And he's now having little bursts of energy and playing with our sleep. Which is great because as I said before, she wasn't interested in him. She just wouldn't play with him at all. Um, but now, yeah, little burst. And then he gets really tired and he has a sleep. So it's all sort of positive, positive, positive. So um, I hope this vlog hasn't been too boring for you. <laughs> you know, the ups and the downs and riding the waves of life, yeah. But I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up for this video, if you have enjoyed it, of course. And if you're new, then please subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.